Hey, what's up guys? Michael here with uh, WorldDrive M. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to check if the battery in your car is still working or you have to replace it. So in order to do that, you, uh, you need just a multimeter and um, I think that's about it. Yeah, so let's begin. The first thing is to locate your battery. So first things first, you have to open the hood and um, locate your battery. Hey, what the heck? This car doesn't have any battery or what? <laughs> Just messing with you. So in most of the cars, the battery will be in front where the engine bay is. So right or left. But this car has the battery in the back. So if you look under the hood and you don't see any battery, you better check in the trunk. So let's go in the back then. Yeah, as you can see, I have already take, taken this uh, piece apart, but normally it's gonna be something like this. So, something like this, yeah? You will never notice that the battery is there. You have to check both sides. This side or the other one, depends on your car manufacturer. Just take the cover off and you will find your battery all the batteries will have a red wire red side and the black one black it's uh, minus negative yeah and red it's positive plus so let's uh, take our multimeter set it for volts voltage yeah 20 because every car most of the cars use 12 volts okie dokie so red to the plus so we need the red one here and the negative one to the minus pole yeah and we don't have any contact so let's try that now as you can see both of the wires are connected and we have 11.8 um, volts right from the start i can tell you that uh, this voltage is not enough to start a car or maybe in summer and uh, normally uh, a good battery should indicate 12 12 um, 12.6 volts so right from the start you can see we have a faulty battery okay now let's try to start the car with this voltage maybe it, it's gonna start and if the car starts I'm gonna show you how, uh, if the alternator is uh, working put the key into the slot we have some power <laughs> Hop! Yep! It started! Now let's go back to the battery. Now that the engine uh, runs, we can check if the alternator is working. Yep! Check this out! 15 volts! It's working! So, uh, when an uh, alternator is uh, charging... Look at that! 14.9... Uh, 15 volts. Yeah, so this means that the alternator is charging. Normally you have to see the, between 13 and 15 volts. So, it's that simple. A good battery should indicate 12.6 volts and uh, an alternator that is charging the battery uh, it should indicate 13 between 13 and 15 volts so the charging uh, is working the battery is dying slow slowly but it's dying so we need to change the battery 
And um, just a small tip, if you want to see if uh, you have any draws on the wiring and uh, you have something electric, a faulty electrical uh, uh, piece, radio or something like that, that is drawing the current from battery when the car is shut down, you have to move this red wire to this fuse the other the other slot you can see here we have five amps max so we have to put it in here now we have to move uh, the needle from voltage to amps yeah as you can see here and we have to start always with a bigger value so my multimeter goes just uh, till um, 5 amps yeah 5 amps and this one are the smaller units milliamps 200 milliamps 20 milliamps uh, 2000 microamps and so on um, so the red wire to the f uh, slot where the fuse maximum amp is uh, written down the needle indicating the bigger value on the amps you have to take the negative negative out yeah you have to take it out put the plus wire on the on the connector and the minus wire the negative wire onto the battery itself uh, or let me show you And as you can see, we have, whoa, that's too much. We have seven, seven amps. Because when you make the connection, the current is gonna flow through your uh, multimeter and the light on the car was on. So in order to do that, I have to close the, where the heck is the light controller? I've uh, turned the light off. Now we uh, we can uh, do this uh, test again. Red wire to the connector. The negative to the battery itself. So as you can see, we have any draws. So the car has no electrical problems just the battery itself because uh, because we already tested and uh, the alternator is uh, charging the battery but the battery is uh, not that good anymore so we need to uh, we need to replace the battery As you can see the battery is out, it is very tight in here, you will have um, this piece that supports the battery, something like that, yeah, this is a 10 millimeter uh, screw, you have to unbolt a lot of wire, if you are doing this for the first time, just take some pictures uh, where the cables uh, you are uh, taking out because we have to put everything back and uh, uh, if you put in the wrong uh, slots that's not gonna be uh, too good 
of course. So the battery is out. As you can see, the battery is here. Yeah, this uh, stuff uh, you just you can unclip from here for one side, and the other one. This is just a distributor for the plus. So this one we have to put it back in the in the other on the other battery. So let's change this battery with a new one. I've just put the battery into the wife's car and I have uh, as well some uh, um, broken module that I have to repair or change or something like that but this is for another video and we are going to buy a new battery. Yeah, I'm going in. <laughs> Check this BMW out. Anyway, oh yeah, by the way, check this out. The wife has heated steering wheel. It's a blast in winter. So, I bought the battery and I will code myself the, the car. So now, let's go home. Now I'm home, the battery is here. Um, I just have to install it on the car. Uh, it's just a reverse method. Uh, as uh, when I take, uh, took it off uh, the other one. So just a short recap. Uh, you want to check if your battery is okay. Just you have to have a multimeter. You have to put it on volts 20 because the battery has like 12 volts. You have to see uh, from the start 12.6 volts. Then you know that the battery is good. So as you can see the new one 12.6 volts. If the battery is under 12.6, then you have a faulty battery. And uh, if the car is still starting, it's gonna uh, be dead soon. The battery. Start the car. Check again. In, if you have uh, between uh, uh, 13 volts and 15 volts, then the alternator is charging your battery, so everything is okay. And if you want to see if you have draws on the circuit, just move the red uh, wire from the multimeter onto the, the other slot where it said uh, amps, maximum amps, you uh, can have 10 amps or 20 amps, so move to the other slot, move, move the needle to the amps and go always start always with the higher amps higher number yeah so my my multimeter goes till 5 amps disconnect the negative on the battery put the red wire on the connector and the uh, black wire onto the battery itself you have to have all the doors closed all everything that's consume uh, current and after that you can check if you have uh, you Will, you have to have some draws because uh, the computer uh, has to have some current to memorize the time and the date but if you see high values then definitely you have some uh, uh, something that is drawing current that's a big problem. something that's drawing current uh, from your car and that's why your battery is run out every day or maybe once a week or some stuff like that so I think that's about it I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, thumbs down. Until next time, see you later.